If Peter had walked on water long enough, perhaps he would have found our names lost at sea. Trying to find their way back to our shores, he would have found our ancestors drowning like him, trying to outswim the slave ship. But our stories did not begin here, at the belly of the Atlantic, at the teeth of colonialism, at the claws of apathy. And our stories did not end here, when the white walkers came to hunt in lands they called poor, or when their guns told Benin that she was not fireproof enough. And our stories did not end with our brotherly wars, Hutu and Tutsi of 1994, xenophobia, Darfur, no victor, no vanquish. When we chant our praise songs, we do not claim that we have outgrown our grudge, that our anguish is an old shoe that no longer fits. Ours is a history in steady conversation with healing, one hand bearing the hatchet, the other nursing the wound. We do me this. What did one scar say to another? We have defeated death. Africa, you have defeated death. Between standing tall like your mountains and even in your falls, I have learned this, that when the king sits on the floor, the ground becomes a throne. And this is how we author our fate, knowing our stories are not set in stone. For when a man says yes, his cheese says yes with him. And so we carry mouthfuls of yeses, yes, to new names. Go ahead, scrub the stereotypes of our past, but yes, to new tales, that this race is finally outrunning her trauma. And so we lean into the softness, we disappear the workloads, we drink from the scores of our enemies, because yes, Africa has already won.